Tang gang, what's poppin'? It's your boy Alex, and I'm feeling amazing. I want to share these vibes with you today, so stay tuned. It's going to be an off-the-cuff off video, and it feels great to just authentically express and be myself and and uh, flow. So, first I want to mention, uh, I brushed the hair to the side before I started making this. Uh, buddy watched a video the other day, he was saying how, uh, say, you're a handsome young man, <laughs> and... I, I, we're both aware of flattery, so we just we just laughed about it. But, anyways, yeah. So I made a Facebook post today, and I don't go on there often. So it's one of those things like, if you're one of your those people po always putting your two cents in, and always having something to say, then people are gonna, they're not gonna appreciate it or value or respect it as much because you're always the one talking. People are gonna respect the person who sits back and observes and then carefully calculates what they say and it's backed by pure intent so that was today's facebook post uh, it was backed by pure intent and basically i was mentioning what the matrix is and how there's some people out here that are heavily programmed actually my grandfather the other day he was saying something to one of the little kids one of the babysitting kids he was saying get with the program and i'm thinking oh my please don't get with the program that's not what we're trying to do we're trying to get people out of the program that's what i'm trying to do with this channel anyways uh, so the blue pill is, is the people that have, are living on that side of the matrix. They're living in a completely different reality than the one I'm living in. Cause I'm, I'm the awakened red pill. I'm part of that group, but the blue pill, the program people. And before I go on and I know I'm a little bit all over the place, but I want to say it is what it is. There's something so profound in that. Just that attitude of acceptance. There's no better or worse just cause I'm on the red pill under the pole it doesn't it's not better than the blue pill it's just it's good to be conscious of these things and aware of them so that we can compartmentalize it and uh not get polarized one way or another which uh inhibits us from uh remaining balanced and feeling a sense of equanimity within oneself so the Matrix. It's, it's a great movie, and it's it's uh, very symbolic. It's multidimensional. It's like nature. Nature is multidimensional. The basis of life is spectrums. Language is linear. You gotta be able to read between the lines and uh, distinguish and discern between different nuances. So I'm a part of the Red Pill group. Awaken. I see the shit going on behind the scenes. I'm aware of the intentions, the agenda being pushed by the mainstream establishment media, and I'm not going to say any buzzwords because that will automatically produce a red flag and the video could get censored or whatever. So we have to be careful as far as that's concerned because there's a lot of censorship going on right now too. It's going to be aware of that, but I will give you a hint. It's on the back of the $1 bill, triangle, the all seeing eye. It's a... Uh, you know, I've been trying to tell people about this stuff for a long time, but I, word to the wise, you can't force stuff on people. People are going to wake up in their own time, and I've, like I said, it is what it is. Everything is perfect the way it is. Everybody evolves in their, their own time. It's it's their process, and nothing's better or worse than anything else. But uh, as far as my purpose, the reason why I feel that I'm here is to help assist in that fundamental shift that's taking place the, the tipping scale more and more people are waking up and it's when it hits that point of more people are awake than not it's it's already the, the all seeing eye in the back the one dollar bill that group they can't stop it they have no power because the thing is that there really only is one true power there is no evil it's all good so and when you perceive the world in this way, you're able to see beyond appearances, look beyond the evidence of the five senses, five senses, perceive essence. You see people for what they are beyond their worldly identity, who they are. You see the divine in them and that their worldly identity is simply coming on in the form of a game that they're playing that they might not be conscious of and that's fine and dandy. We don't judge it. We don't uh, think of ourselves as superior to them.
because we we might be more aware than them. It, it is what it is. <laughs> Just adopting that attitude of unconditional acceptance is so powerful. And that's why I want to share these vibes with you because that's that's what I'm feeling right now. And it, it's one of those things. That, so my throat chakra, it's a, that energy center, that energy body, when that is awakened or active within somebody, they're able to freely express. And when somebody has fully accepted themselves they've come in tune with themselves they know who they are and what they're here to do then that's where true confidence comes from because then you nobody can tell you anything about yourself because you already know you're you don't care about the noise of the world or other people's opinions or anything like that because you see through it you're blind to the bullshit you see the matrix for what it is and it's fine but we don't have to let it affect us. We can always remain uh, perceiving the world from a cause within based perspective of reality. Instead of being at the effect of the world. We, we remain uh, having an internal locus of control. So yeah, it's, I just wanted to share these vibes with you. Just random... Random off the cuff video. So, love you guys. If you're liking the vibes, like, comment, subscribe. I'm really going to try to keep punk content out and uh, take it day by day. We'll, we'll see where it goes and hopefully the YouTube channel grows. And hopefully you can help me with that. I show my gratitude by putting this stuff out there, this content out there for you. Because I genuinely want to share how I'm feeling and insights and wisdom perspectives that I've, I've learned through my experience. And, you know, I've learned a lot from people on YouTube. YouTube is a blessing. There's also a lot of garbage out there, but that's why we got to be conscious of where we're placing our attention, what we're focusing on. If you are consuming a diet, a mental diet of toxic information, you're watching the mainstream news, there's a lot of subliminal messages and shit going on in there that people aren't, aren't conscious of. It's affecting their subconscious mind. So we really got to hone in and focus on our mental diet and what information we're we're letting within us because if garbage goes in it stays in it doesn't go out unless we learn to let that go consciously detach from it or transmute it we can use that accumulated emotions or uh negative energies that we might have gotten attached to us we've picked up unconsciously or consciously and we can transmute that and use it as fuel through mental alchemy, flip the script and channel that into creative endeavor or intense physical activity or whatever your hobby is, whatever you're doing to keep becoming the better version of yourself more and more so each day. And by doing that, people are going to be attracted to you. Stuff's going to unfold in a perfect way. It's happened in, in my experience and I'm so blessed. And, you know, I used to... I went down the rabbit hole of negativity for a long time and got sucked into the conspiracy theories and this and that. But then I, I noticed that I, I was feeling like, I was feeling like shit. <laughs> and when that becomes your, if that's what you're focusing on, that becomes your reality and you attract more of that similar vibrational energy to you because like attracts light. It's one of the laws of the universe. So you it's good to be conscious of it and good to be aware of shit going on behind the scenes but we don't have to focus on that once we're aware of it we can let that go detach from it and then start being positive and becoming the best version of ourselves and that will not that other people need per permission but just being the change through your way of being that will allow other people to see wow th this guy's He's living different. He's on a different. He seems to be not affected by uh, the stuff I am, and it kind of, then they start watching. And don't sleep on the people that you're inspiring, because you never know who's watching. And once you you're on the path and you start becoming the your best version more and more, so each day stuff is gonna unfold in a beautiful way, and you're gonna get momentum. And you're going to become an unstoppable force. I, I promise you that. Because that's how I'm feeling right now. 
and, and it's awesome. That's why I want to share these vibes with you. But anyways, appreciate you guys. Like, comment, subscribe. I'll see you in the next one.